What's going on everyone? My name is Danny GG and today we will be doing a quick tier list for all of the Halo soundtracks. So we all know Halo has some of the most iconic music in all of media. So today I have my friend and music expert with me, Carson Music. What's up gamers? This is Carson Music. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> So Carson is going to help me assemble this tier list with his musical expertise. So let's get right into it. All right, Carson. So starting with the OG Halo CE, I already have an idea where I want to put this guy. Um, do you object to S tier? No, I think that it should be because both it started everything and it established the sound for like almost everything. And it's got Covenant Dance on it. Covenant, I was going to say that. That instantly. It could be total <laughs> shit, and it's got Covenant Dance. It's so. got Covenant Dance, so it goes to S tier. Of course. Yeah. All right, so moving on to Halo 2. Where do we want Halo 2? Um, kind of continued some of the same themes from Halo mm -hmm. CE. Kind of got a little more metally. How do you feel about Halo 2? So I have an opinion on Halo 2 soundtrack that not many people have. I liked it a lot, but in my opinion, there's not as many memorable songs in Halo 2, at least for me, compared to the others. But I put it, for me personally, I put it in A. I can see that, yeah. So, um, it kind of continues some of the same themes as Halo CE. And personally, I love it because it has the the metal guitar, like the Mjolnir, Mjolnir mix, oh, which yeah, is, yeah, no, yeah. is super awful. intense. But I agree, it's not quite as good as CE from an orchestral perspective, so I'm, I agree with A, I think. All right, so next we have Mr. Halo 3. I gotta That's put it, I gotta put an S tier, yeah, I mean. Oh, uh, yeah. Never forget, they introduced the piano motifs. Uh, it's just too good. It just, it just makes you cry every time. Pretty sure I saw somewhere that whenever we showed that to uh, director, not the directors, but like the game devs and stuff, that they laughed at it because they didn't like it. Yeah, they were like, are you, are you kidding? And then they put it in the marketing and everyone lost their mind. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, wait, maybe this is a good idea. Yeah. So next we got Halo 3 ODST and not one of the most popular games. I know it's kind of making a resurgence in popularity, um, but I've actually been finding myself listening to this soundtrack a lot recently. I don't know why, but it's got some crazy bangers, like some underground bangers on it. Um, so, how do you feel about Halo 3 ODST? Well, it's it's not a main... It's not like a Master Chief game, obviously. And that's why it's not as popular, I think. Mm -hmm. But, as everyone knows, ODST has some of the best jazz uh, of any video game soundtrack out there, to my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, All the saxophone and piano. They, yeah, and they messed around with that, and that's something that's... Uh, they didn't really experiment with a whole bunch of new musical styles like that. I think that ODST should be S tier because it, it, it's awesome. I agree. S tier, ODST, no doubt. It's even got S in the name, ODST. It's just it, begging exactly. to be put in S tier, you know. So, Halo 4. Oh, no, no, that's not next. Halo Reach. All right, Halo Reach 2010. I just have that one trailer burned into my brain of like the do, 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 do. you know the drum beat oh, yeah, and it's like yeah, going yeah, through yeah. space and I'm like so that track is really good um it has a reprise of like walk in the woods from halo ce winter, um, contingency. winter contingency yeah and but overall there's only like four or five tracks where i'm like i would go to listen to while like some of the other S tiers I could just put on and listen through. Yeah. So I'm feeling I think A. It's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. I, I put it on A. That's what I'm thinking. Let's look at uh, Halo Wars. I know we're not really going in any specific order here, but Halo Wars is an interesting one. Um, how do you feel about it? You're talking about the first one, right? First yep. Halo Wars? Halo Wars 1, I feel like it was... Uh, they tried to get it as close to a Halo feel as they could, and I think they did that on some songs. But there's not just a whole lot of memorable songs uh, in Halo Wars. So for me, I think that Halo Wars is uh, probably B, in my opinion. Okay. 
Yeah, I could agree with that. I, I actually listened to both Halo Wars 1 and 2 soundtracks all the way through today just to prep for this video. <laughs> um, and I was taking some notes. And Halo Wars had some some good tracks, but only 4 out of like 30, I think, on the track. But the Spirit of Fire theme I really like, but that's not enough to, to bump it up. So I'm going to put it in B, like you said. Um, and while we're on Halo Wars, let's just do Halo Wars 2. From my listen today, really, it sounded like if you wouldn't have told me it was Halo Wars, I would have thought it was Star Wars, which, you know, no doubt Star Wars has great music. Um, John mm -hmm. Williams is a god, but um, Star Wars is not Halo. So I actually looked at the composer of Halo Wars 2, and he did the music for Jedi Fallen Order, which is a good game you guys should go play, and Star Wars Squadrons, which makes sense. So this dude is like a Star Wars guy. Um, yeah. So for that reason, I'm thinking C tier, not because it's bad music, because it's not good Halo music. It's um, not. It's not Halo. So how do you feel about that one? No, I agree. I don't. I've listened to it all the way through, and like, there's not. I didn't really hear anything stick out to me. All right, moving on to Halo Four. So this one might be a little controversial. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's pretty split. People love or hate Halo Four. Uh, how do you feel about it? I feel like there's some some songs that were Halo feel, some that weren't, and um, even if even the ones that weren't uh, necessarily Halo feeling, um, there was a lot of songs that were memorable. Um, there's uh, Green and Blue Team, 117 was another good one. Um, there was the midnight version of Never Forget, probably B or A for me. I don't know which one of the two, but that's what I think. I think I'm gonna put it in B. Yeah, it's, it had a few uh, good yeah. tracks. Um, but then you think like Halo 4 as a sequel to Halo 3, how different like tonally and the, the mood, it's just a little too like mechanical, like robotic in some ways and then it was new composer yeah. it was neil what's his name um but yeah so i'm gonna put in b tier for that but still got some bangers and remember guys these are all this is relative to halo soundtracks so in real life all these soundtracks are totally s tier but yes. relative to each other this is how we break them down so finally we're gonna end it with halo 5 we're not doing spartan strike and all those other nonsense <laughs> ones um halo 5 I really, there's really one or two barely memorable tracks for this one. Um, oh, yeah. It, I'm thinking C2. Yeah. All right, guys. So that's going to do it for our Halo soundtrack tier list. I want to thank Carson Music for joining me today. Uh, he's really great. He makes some really cool music on his channel. The link will be in the description. And he's actually started this series where he does... Um, he'll make a song live in 10 minutes and kind of do like a little mini time-lapse thing So he actually made a, his own halo soundtrack, which is SSS tier um, It doesn't fit on this scale here, but it's really cool So I'll have a link to that in the description too And you can kind of see his thought process as he goes along and makes music uh, So he's a super talented guy go check him out and you will not be disappointed. So That's going to do it for today's video Make sure to smack that subscribe button if this video was epic gamer moment. And uh, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.